Hi everyone, let's take a look at 15 on page 326. A, 5, 0 and B, 0, 2 are points on the X and Y axis respectively. Part A, find the coordinates of point P, A, 0 on the X axis such that the magnitude of PA equals to the magnitude of PB. Step 1, draw a diagram. From the given, we have two points. Point A at 5, 0. So label point A, 5, 0. And the second point, B, at 0, 2. Now I'm going to copy this for a moment. We're going to do this again in part B once we're done with part A. Now in part A, they're asking you find the coordinates on point P, A0, so it's going to be somewhere on the x-axis, such that the magnitude of PA equals to the magnitude of PB. So before we start, you can draw this diagram and roughly figure out where the answer is going to be located. So for example, it wouldn't be there, right, because you have to make sure that the magnitudes are equal, so likewise it wouldn't be there. But what you can do is draw a point somewhere there, right, such that these two magnitudes are the same. So I'm going to label this point P A0. And again, we know this because uh, the second component is 0, which means it's on the x-axis. So now we're going to work this out step by step. To find the magnitude of PA, what that really means is you have to find the vector PA first. And again, PA equals to OA minus OP. So any vector that's given, you always take the final minus the initial. So likewise, to find the uh, vector PB, you take OB minus OP. So now we go back to the given. OA is going to be 5, 0. OP is going to be A0. Likewise, on the right-hand side, OB is going to be 0, 2. And OP is going to be A0. So now, when you collect like terms, on the left-hand side, it's going to be the magnitude of 5 minus A, 0. And on the right-hand side, it's going to be the magnitude of negative A, 2. And again, to find the magnitude of a vector, you simply take the square root of the sum of the squares. So in this case, it would be 5 minus a quantity square plus 0 square. And likewise, on the right-hand side, it's going to be negative a in brackets, square plus 2 square. To find the answer, the opposite of taking the square root is to square both sides. Now, you want to be mindful of the fact that sometimes when you square both sides, you may get more than one answer, which will not work. But in this case, I think it's going to be fine. So on the left-hand side, what happens is you're left with 5 minus a quantity square. And on the right, this becomes a square plus 4. And again, you can expand the left-hand side. This is a perfect square, which will give you 25 minus 10a plus a square. On the right, you can simply copy a square plus 4. And now you have to collect like terms. So notice how on both sides, there's an a square, which you can cross out. So now, you simply isolate for a. I'm going to copy negative 10a. When I bring 25 to the other side, that's going to be 4 minus 25, which is negative 21. The opposite of multiplying by 10 is to divide by 10, or negative 10. So a equals to 2.1. So therefore, the point P is going to be 2.1, 0. Now before continue watching this, you can press pause and try part B. It is very similar. And when you press play, I'll be right here. OK, let's continue. So I'm going to go back and uh, update this diagram. Uh, let me just draw this again for you. I did copy and paste it, but it's gone now. So this time, instead of saying that the uh, point is going to be on the x-axis, it's going to be on the y-axis. 
So again, before we solve this, you want to roughly figure out where the answer is located. So let me just set up a scale. We'll go through all this step by step. So just like before, we know that uh, the points A and B are at 5, 0, and 0, 2, respectively. Now because it's going to be on the uh, y-axis, uh, what's going to happen is you've got to figure out roughly where is it going to be. So for example, it wouldn't be here, right? Because these won't be equal in magnitude. And likewise, it wouldn't be too far to the bottom. That doesn't make sense either. So it's going to be somewhere roughly here. And again, we'll figure this out once we work out the, uh, the steps. Uh, so let's label this as uh, zero B for now. Okay, so again, the question says find the coordinates of a point on the y-axis such that QB equals to, or the magnitude of QB equals to the magnitude of QA. So let's start with uh, that line. So the magnitude of QB equals to the magnitude of QA. And again, just like the first case, to find QB, you take the final minus the initial, so that's going to be OB minus OQ. On the right-hand side, same idea. To find QA, that's OA minus OQ. So we go back to the given. We plug these numbers in. That's going to be 0, 2 minus 0, B. On the right-hand side, uh, it's going to be 5, 0 minus 0, B. And now, when you uh, collect like terms, on the left-hand side, it's going to be the magnitude of 0, 2 minus b, and on the right hand side it's going to be 5 and negative b. And again, when you're finding the magnitude, you're taking the square root of the sum of the squares. So it's going to be 0 square plus 2 minus b quantity square. Likewise, on the right hand side, that's going to be 5 square plus negative b in brackets square. The opposite of taking the square root is to square both sides. And again, sometimes you will get additional answers. That doesn't make sense. But in this problem, I think it's going to work out fine. So on the left-hand side, you end up with a perfect square. And when you expand this, this is going to be 4 minus 4b plus b squared. On the right-hand side, 5 squared is going to be 25. Negative b in brackets squared is going to be b squared. And again, if you collect like terms, there's a common b squared on both sides. So you can cross that out. If you isolate for b, negative 4b equals 2, you're going to bring 4 to the other side. So 25 minus 4 is going to be uh, 21. And again, the opposite of multiplying by negative 4 is dividing by negative 4. So b equals 2, uh, 5 point or negative 5.25. So therefore, q is going to be 0 negative 5.25. I hope this makes sense.